Hey everybody, David here, and today I'm going to do something very special. Uh, I am going to put up my very first Christmas tree in my home. I've been living in this home for eight years now, by myself, technically with my brother who lives downstairs. I live in the upstairs portion of the home, and they're like two like little mini bungalows, if you want to call them that. We renovated the basement. It looks beautiful. Uh, but getting through that, uh, yeah, I decided to do my own Christmas tree this year. I bought my own tree, which is right down here. And I bought even my own lights. Check this out. Bought some lights here and right here too. Got some assorted colors going on here. I even bought my own ornaments, five different ornaments because ornaments are too expensive. Um, so I decided to get just five and then every year I'll add one or two new ones uh, to the to the tree uh, but this year I started with five I'll show them a little bit later but right now I wanted to do this thing where I wanted to start b taking the tree out of this box and start building it in front of you guys and you guys can make fun of me or whatever you want so uh, let's get right into it right now so let's go okay so the first thing we're gonna do is take this thing out of the box here um, and they put a lot of tape here Let's, uh, you know what I'm gonna need? A knife. Okay, let's, uh, let's take this baby out. What do we got here? There we go. It's a six foot tree, by the way. Not that tall, not that tall. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not the only part. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got this part here too with the tag on it. Made in China. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, this part. Okay. So three, three different parts. Plus, I guess this is the stand that it's going to go on. Uh, and instructions because I'm stupid and I'm going to need it. Okay, so this is basic enough. Um, sure. Okay. So uh, let's get this stuff ready. Shall we? Um, uh, it's already frustrating. Oh no, wait, look, I figured it out. Okay. So there's one. Oh, that was easy. See that? There's two. Three and four. There we go. We got the pillars all lined up like that, and uh, so far so good. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right here in front of the window because uh, I just think that's the best place to put it right now. So uh, I guess I gotta open these up. Like that, right? Oh man, I have to do all of this? Oh no. Uh, this is gonna be a while. Okay, so I think I just finished this, the bottom portion. Now we got two more to go. And uh, look, this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna show you a magic trick. Are you ready? Here we go. And there we go. How does that look? I call that magic. Now, uh, let's see. There is one thing missing, though. You know what that's called, right? Uh, I think we have to put on the lights next, so... Uh... And there we go, look at that. I did that, man. That is, that is so pretty full right now. Look at those lights glow, it's like very sexy look at the texture it's like very beautiful it's all ready for christmas i'm i am all set now now you know what i need to do i need to put the ornaments on this thing so let's go check those out because i didn't show you what they are yet and they're very special to me okay so now that i put the tree up now i can show you the ornaments here we go so the first two ornaments are gonna be very non-christmassy they're all kind of based on shows or movies 
that I like because I'm a, I'm a film fan first, right? So it makes sense that my tree is always going to have ornaments that represent movies and shows that I love. So the first one I got here, I was surprised that I saw this one at Hallmark. I got all these at Hallmark, so... Uh, because that's the place to go, right? When you uh, start decorating your stuff or want decorations for something. So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Look at that. The Red Ranger. That's right. Power Rangers has been part of my life for the longest time. And I had to get an ornament. I have a Ninja Storm and Dino Thunder ornament that I got a long time ago too. But Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. There we go. So the next ornament I got. Uh, this is obviously based on one of the more new uh marvel shows that's currently up that's right loki check loki out right there i am the king of asgard <laughs> even though this is like thor ragnarok loki so uh i'm like whatever loki is loki he can be on my tree any day uh too bad they didn't have thor there i probably would have got thor too but uh yeah loki that's right so we got him now you guys are already probably wondering david those don't look very christmas like and i don't care but the next three are more christmas like i promise you so check these ones out the first one i got um i, I personally it's not my favorite disney movie animated but it, it looked cool so i had to get it uh nightmare before christmas oogie boogie right there that's right uh the ornament just looked cool i mean look at that man that just how could you not, even if you're not a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, it just looks like a really cool ornament. So I, I had to get that one. Um, and then the next one I got, this one's cute. This one a lot of people are going to like. And who doesn't like Wally, -E, right? That's right, Wally -E with Eve. And she has the Christmas decorations there. So, I mean, that's Christmassy, right? Just like Nightmare Before Christmas. That, that look right there is all very Christmassy together and holding hands look how cute that is that is so adorable uh, and then finally um, I, I was conflicted on what I should get there was a, a one there of Mickey and Walt Disney the statue that that is at uh, Disney World and Magic Kingdom or um, even Disneyland with Mickey and, and Walt holding hands and it's the statue of them but obviously as an ornament and I wanted to get that one and then there was one of Mickey in a Christmas um, hat and he had uh, 2023 with him and I thought oh that would be cool because then it would symbolize when I started um, you know then I would know okay that's when I started doing this Christmas thing every year because I want to keep this as a tradition now for my house uh, but then I saw this and I thought, okay, I got to get this one. This one was way cooler. Chip and Dale sliding on a sled, uh, tobogganing, if you will, on snow. It's a very Christmassy also. Disney is great when it comes to Christmas decorations. So yes, I went with Chip and Dale sliding on that sled. Look at the two of them, man. How could you not like that? that I had to get that, right? So it just makes sense. So I'm going to put them on the tree right now. So let's put these guys up now. Let's start off with Loki over here going on the Christmas tree. I'm going to put Loki right over here. That's right. Facing this way and he's saying, all of my glory. This tree is my glory, his purpose, yes. <laughs> he's like blending in with the tree almost. There, Loki, glorious purpose, yes. And then uh, next up, let's get the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, Jason or Rocky, whichever one you prefer. Me, personally, I prefer Jason. And uh, I'll put Jason right here, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger kicking ass. I don't know whose ass he's kicking, but there you go. There you go, buddy. Kick that light. Okay. Next up, we got, who are we going to put up next? Let's uh, post up, let's put up Oogie Boogie right here. And I think I'm going to put him closer to the window cell here. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit more up. I think he's a little heavy. Oh shit. Excuse me for the swearing. There. I think he's good there. Yeah, scare the people outside. Good work. Um, now let's get 
Chip and Dale. Let's do Chip and Dale next. Where are we going to put Chip and Dale here? Let's put him a little bit more lower. There we go. Maybe right over there. Sledding on one of the trees. There you guys are. And now, finally, last but not least, Wally and Eve. In their Christmas, Eve is wearing her Christmas decoration. She's saying, look everybody, it's Christmas. Uh, but she's asleep, but don't worry, Wally is keeping her company. And uh, I want them on this side, where Oogie Boogie is, but maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more higher. There we go. Yeah. Right there, there we go. It's my Christmas tree, guys. I got my Christmas tree all set up. Look at that. Wow. I did a good job. So there you go, everybody. I uh, finished decorating my tree. It's getting really dark out for some reason. Maybe it's going to rain soon. I don't know. Uh, but the weather is actually pretty good outside, personally. I mean, we're only in November, right? We're beginning of November. Good news about my channel. I am going to be going somewhere very soon. I've probably mentioned this before. I'm going to Florida uh, very soon. First week of December. I'm really excited about it. Me and my brother Kevin are going to be heading to Disney World. That's right. This is a lifelong goal of mine. I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Going to all four parks in Disney World. Uh, this might be the last trip for a while outside of Canada. Because uh, number one, money. This is going to be costing me a lot of money. And number two, uh, I'm in film school right now, and um, I'm going to be concentrating on that for the next two years. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be doing no videos, but a lot of it will be in Canada, obviously. Mostly in Toronto, of course, uh, because it's cheaper, it's where I live, and it's more convenient for me. So, and you know, this is not my day job, and uh, I have to go somewhere else to make the real cash to, uh, you know, afford uh, rent, uh, paying my bills and stuff. So with that being said, look, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, especially if you like vlogging videos. You know, I, that, that's the type of stuff I think I'm getting into right now. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it too, especially when it comes to the theme parks and attractions stuff. I know I can't go to Disney or Universal all the time. Believe me, I wish I could. I wish that was my life but it's not and I gotta work in the perimeters that I can afford and that I can do so you know Toronto has some cool things too so hopefully you guys can learn if you're not in Toronto maybe you want to see some stuff that what does Toronto have because maybe I want to go and visit that city uh, you know Canada's Wonderland I guess it's, is the biggest theme park that's in Canada I know we have a Six Flags theme park too but I think that's in like Montreal uh, and I know Vancouver has some stuff that, that's cool as well. Maybe next summer I'll make a little trip to Vancouver. Who knows? There's a lot of stuff I can do in Canada, at least. And this is my country, so I should give it more uh, screen time, right, on my channel. Why not? Be proud of who I am. Be proud that I'm from Canada and showcase some of the cool stuff that Canada has to offer. I think that would be cool. But yes, I'm very excited for Florida. I'm very excited to go to Walt Disney World again, especially since I was at Disneyland earlier in the year. It's crazy that I'm too doing these Disney parks all in one year, uh, the North American parks at least. Will I ever do Paris or one of the Asian parks? Who knows? Maybe the Asian parks, no, because I don't think I could travel that far. Uh, but Paris, that may be a possibility, but not in the next two years, that's for sure. Uh, with that being said, and plus I want to go to Universal Studios also. I mean, they have some really great stuff to offer too. And I haven't been to a Universal Park in years. So it would be it would be good to do those kind of stuff too. But again, not in the next two years. But I promise you, stuff are on the horizon. So please subscribe. And I hope you guys stick with me on this journey. And who knows, maybe this YouTube channel will evolve again. I was doing movie reviews before. And then I'm turning more into a vlogger of going out and experiencing things, you know, attractions or or theme parks, etc. But maybe it could evolve into something else. You'll never know what the future holds. With that being said, until next time, everybody, take care.